19 colorful sea creatures. Number 19, Christmas tree worms. These colorful creatures are found in tropical waters where they are embedded in massive corals. They often show up in photographs taken by sports divers. The two trees are actually specialized mouth appendages the worm uses for filter feeding microorganisms from the water. Number 18. Emperor shrimp. This species of shrimp is widely distributed across the Indo-Pacific and are found in almost every habitat from freshwater to seawater. They feed on algae, plankton, and parasites, and are known for their brilliant, distinctive coloring, as you can see. Does their coloration remind you a bit of clownfish? Number 17. Sea sponges. Now, sponges are animals, even though they lack true organs and tissues. But they are multicellular organisms that rely on obtaining food and oxygen and removing waste by keeping water constantly flowing through their porous bodies. There are some 5,000 species of sea sponges found worldwide and are found in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, and are found in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, and can measure as small as an inch long to more than four feet long and some are known to produce toxins as a self-defense mechanism. Did you know these animals have been around for some 500 million years? Number 16. Bluebell tunicate. First described in 1904, this bizarre looking species of sea squirt usually grows in clusters attached to dead coral and is found in waters from Australia to Malaysia. It filters out nutrients needed to survive from the water that passes by. Kind of looks like a bunch of underwater slinkies, doesn't it? Number 15. Coffin fish. Now that sounds like a great name for a cryptid. Maybe we should use this one for Crypto Fun Friday. But since it's Deep Sea Sunday, that'll work too. These fish have colors that make them look a lot brighter than their scowl might suggest. They often rest on the ocean floor and use tiny fins to keep itself propped up. Number 14. Crimson jellyfish. They live in the deep seas, and although it is crimson, this animal can flash a pale blue light in a rotating pattern around its body. That bioluminescent display happens when the jellyfish feel threatened by predators. Number 13. Lined chitin. This is a type of mollusk found in the North Pacific. It can have colors ranging from blue to black zigzag lines on either of its eight valves, the color of which can range from bright blue to orange. The pink background coloration is camouflage the creature uses as it feeds on coralline algae. Number 12. Orange spotted filefish. It looks like it could either be a blue fish with orange spots or an orange fish with blue spots. Depends on how you look at it, I guess. Either way, it looks like an awesome paint job. They're often desired as pets, but they need coral reefs to survive, so they don't last long in captivity unless provided with live corals. Number 11. Starfish. With some 2,000 species of these creatures, starfish can display striking colors ranging from brown, blue, orange, red, and gray. They use those colors for camouflage and to warn off potential predators. Now, they're not fish as they have no fins or gills. They actually belong to a family of sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and sand dollars. Five armed varieties of the creature are commonly seen, but did you know that some species with 40 arms also exist? Number 10. Scorpionfish. They're not aquatic scorpions, but they do pack a sting. The spines are coated with a toxic mucus, so this is definitely a case of look but don't touch. They use their unique colors to fade into the environments as they wait for unwary prey to approach. The scorpionfish family includes lionfish and stonefish, all noted for being highly toxic creatures. Number 9. Southern Blue-Ringed Octopus. These striking creatures are commonly found along Australia's southern coastline. They only grow up to eight inches long as adults and are normally quite docile. But you see those bright blue rings? They become even brighter and more intense if the animal feels threatened. Then the octopus truly can become a striking creature, though loaded with venom that's powerful enough to kill a human. Number eight, Blue Tang. 
Undersea creatures seem to look really cool in blue, have you noticed? And this one is no exception. The blue tang shows off some amazing blue coloration complemented by bold black markings. It almost sounds like a fashion show, right? These fish are usually found in Indo-Pacific waters and are actually bright yellow when they're younger. The blue and black coloration shows up at their final phase of development. Number 7. Coral. Now, is that a brain at the bottom of the ocean? No, but it is a brain coral, and just an example of the wide-ranging variety of living coral and coral reefs, some of which are thought to have started growing over 50 million years ago. Contrary to some beliefs, corals are animals, not plants. They're actually related to anemones and jellyfish. The reefs formed by coral provide housing for thousands of marine species, giving them a place to find food, to reproduce, and to keep them safe until they they're mature enough to venture into the deeper ocean. Did you know coral reef plants and animals have proven important to the development of new medicines to treat cancer, Alzheimer's, and heart disease? But even with all those advantages, human activity is threatening almost 60% of the world's coral reefs. Number 6. Flower Hat Jellyfish. This rare species of jellyfish is usually found in the waters of southern Japan, Argentina, and Brazil. It can grow to a half foot in diameter and is easily recognizable by its translucent bell, which is pinstriped with opaque bands. Those coiling tentacles adhere to the rim while not in use. Like many pretty looking things, this jelly carries a sting, but even though it's painful, it's non-lethal to humans. The worst you'd get is a rash. Number 5. Blue Sea Slug We couldn't find a whole lot of information on this critter. From what we've seen, it's often identified as a blue sea slug, but that sounds like a rather pedestrian name for such a colorful creature. You can see the brilliant blue coloration in this photo. The animal almost looks like an alien life form with the two antennas sticking up. We're guessing it might be a nudibranch. Those mollusks are noted for their striking colors, and there are more than 2,300 validated species scattered about the world. Number 4. Mantis Shrimp They're one of the most colorful forms of marine life, but don't be fooled. They're also known as ferocious undersea predators that possess, pound for pound, one of the most powerful punches on the planet. Punching with speed equal to a 22 caliber bullet, the Mantis Shrimp has not only broken shells of its prey, also broken through aquarium glass. Punching at that velocity makes water vaporize and explode with a sharp bang, a flash of light, and extremely high heat, all of which is felt by the victim as an additional blast. Not bad for an animal that averages less than four inches long. Number three. Juvenile Emperor Angelfish. Their coloration will change with age, but while they're young, they exhibit these amazing displays of swirling dark blue, white, and electric blue. It almost looks hypnotic, right? Well, the fish keeps these distinct patterns until it reaches maturity, which usually takes around four years. Then the fish develops blue and yellow stripes and black shading around its eyes. Number two. Clownfish. Did you recognize them from Finding Nemo? Known as one of the most brightly colored fish in the world, their bodies have distinctive white striping with colors that can vary from red, orange, or yellow. They're also known as anemone fishes because of their mutually beneficial relationship with sea anemones. The toxic tentacles of the anemones protect clownfish from predators, and the fast movement of the fishes helps anemones find food and increase circulation. Number 1. The Mandarin Fish, also known as the Mandarin Dragonette. It swims in the Pacific reefs, but it's less than 3 inches long, so it can be difficult to see in the wild. As you might guess, this fish is highly sought after in the aquarium trade, but they're considered extremely difficult to keep alive due to their strict eating habits. Some people think the Mandarin Fish might be the most beautiful fish in the world. Would you agree? <laughs>